probability the topic which we're going to discuss for today's session what is probability we have come across many situations where we predict some of the things say for example it is very cloudy outside and i expect a rain therefore when on a cloudy day when i would like to go out i do not take a chance on not taking an umbrella along with me so therefore on a cloudy day because i expect that there is a rain coming in the rest of the day i take an umbrella out when i move out for walking so in this case we are predicting the rain the word prediction is what is probability connected with the chance of taking an umbrella so that we don't get wet in rain on a cloudy day is how we predict certain things according to the situations so probability in general is it is a measure of uncertainty or more probably we can say it is a chance probability is only a chance but it is not a strict mathematical outcome is how we understand because on a cloudy day it may rain or may not rain if it rains my umbrella would serve the purpose but if it doesn't rain on a cloudy day my umbrella would, would be of no use that is there are two possible ways that i can use the umbrella and do not use the umbrella depending on the rain the prediction of the rain is only a chance we are taking on because we have seen the clouds or a cloudy day so this is how we take a chance but outcome is not 100% sure outcome is only predicted on the present situations just like a cloudy day may lead to a rain or may not lead to a rain hence an umbrella or not an umbrella is how we make probability is nothing but a chance or prediction let's come into more real life examples to understand probability more better mostly probability has originated from the game of gambling where in many of the casino was people used to make various attempts in trying to make the outcomes possible through probability indirectly they were using probability to make the predictions or outcomes which were in favor of them in the game of gambling so let's see how probability helps in real life through a real and live example cut so for example i take the concept of tossing of a coin so when i take a coin and toss it in this real life example of tossing of a coin let's see how probability is defined in case of this that is how the chance is taken in this as we know that a coin has two sides one is heads and one is tails through which we toss the coin mostly in the international cricket matches the deciding on the fielding or the batting is totally based on tossing of a coin where the captains decide on heads or tails now let's come with a coin now with this coin i would like to toss it and then see how probability helps in tossing of a coin now i have this coin tossed but i don't know if i got the heads or tails now as i see if i say i am heads i have one and i'm going to decide on the batting or the fielding if i get tails i am lost and my opposite captain would decide on batting or fielding so tossing of a coin is based on heads and tails now now that i have tossed the coin let's see if i got heads or tails now i would like to decide on heads and it is heads yes it is heads and this is heads through which i would like to make this topic connected with probability now that when i toss the coin i got an head that means i have taken the chance and the possibility the outcome when i toss a coin is either a head or a tail that is when i toss a coin there are only two possibilities that i may get either a head or a tail 
there is no possibility that the coin lands in the middle and doesn't give any outcome. It is impossible for an unbiased coin. So the outcome is either a head or a tail. So this makes us understand that there are equal or 50-50% chances of getting a head or a tail because there are only two sides for a coin. You may get either a head or a tail such that 50% of chances go in getting of a head and 50% of the chances go in favor of getting a tail. So they have therefore there are 50% chances of getting either a hat or a tail when a coin is tossed. So H stands for head and T stands for tail through which we may get a head or a tail with 50-50 equal chances and hence tossing of a coin is the deciding factor for international matches because it doesn't cheat in favor of any one of the party because getting of a head or a tail has equal chances tossing of a coin is a more justified process in deciding on the outcome and hence deciding on the fielding or the batting order so that is how probability gets connected with chance or prediction nobody knows the outcome the outcome is only based on some mathematical calculations predictions through which we estimate the outcome of two by chance now let's see some of the statistical terms in the topic of probability which are very useful when we do some of the problems or investigate on some of the chances the the first important factor of probability is random experiment so what is random experiment sometimes again coming back with tossing of a coin when I toss a coin I don't know the possible outcome of a head or a tail so I can just toss a coin any number of times then I get different outcomes where my first outcome may give head or a tail my second outcome may give head or a tail but we cannot know in advance that in my second attempt I'm sure to get a head or I'm sure to get a tail so this kind of outcome which is not predicted in advance is conducted through various of series of experiments where I toss a coin number of times where the outcome is unknown such an experiment is called random experiment so let's see the definition more briefly so let's see the definition of random experiment the definition says an experiment in which the actual outcome is not known in advance is called random experiment so as we have seen with one of the example of tossing of a coin where we don't know the outcome in advance but we know the outcome only when the coin is tossed and we see it landing on the flat surface so for example tossing of a coin any number of times may give a head or a tail which where the actual outcome is not known in advance hence tossing of a coin is an example of a random experiment but for example if I take this box of chalk pieces and then I want to pick any of the chalk piece then every time my outcome is known in advance that I'm going to pick a chalk piece out of the box 
I don't have anything else which can be picked because all the things inside the box are chalk pieces. So this may not be a random experiment because removing or taking a chalk piece out of the box is an actual outcome which is known in advance. In this case, we have things which are known in advance. But in case of tossing of a coin, we don't know things in advance. Therefore, tossing of a coin is a random experiment and picking of a chalk piece from the box of all chalk pieces is not a random experiment because the outcome is known in advance. This is how we understand this to be a random experiment.